Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Valentine's Day tutorial. I actually didn't plan on doing one this year just because I feel like my tutorials like don't get enough views. So I was like, what's the point? But then I scrolled across this post on Instagram. I will go ahead and link the username down below because um, I can't remember off the top of my head. But she used like this eyeshadow technique and, and did these same exact colors using the James Charles palette. And I thought it looked so pretty. So then I wanted to like add hearts to it and make it look a little bit more Valentine's Day. This is a really quick tutorial. Like I'm literally just doing the eyeshadow and the hearts. Um, I only did like a thin line of eyeliner anyways. I didn't do winged eyeliner like I normally do. And every single time I do my eyelashes on camera, it just, they turn out horrible. So I did do it off camera. So just so you guys know, this isn't like a full face tutorial. It's literally just the eyeshadow, that's it. So if you guys wanna know how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I'm going in with the James Charles palette, grabbing that very light pink, and I'm going to be blending that out through my crease. And I am using my new BH Cosmetics brushes. They're like the marble brush set. But this isn't going to add much color to your crease. I'm just basically using it for a transition shade. And then we're also going to be going in with a very, very hot pink. And we're also going to be putting that through the crease. Um, I don't like the fact that this palette came with like just a clear thing with the names on it so I threw it away so that's why I don't know the names. And then we're going to be going in with this darkish purple shade and we're also going to be adding that in. Um, not too much because you don't want it to look too purpley, but we're also going to be going in with the hot pink again to blend that out and to make it look less purple. We basically just wanted to add a tiny bit of purple just to add some definition in there. And I'm also going in with a clean brush just to blend the top of the eyeshadow. And now I'm going in with the second shimmery shade in the palette and I'm literally just going to apply that all over my lid. I'm using my finger, you don't have to, you can use a brush if you decide, but I don't really care if it looks a little bit messy. And now going in with no additional product, I'm just going to be blending that crease a little bit to clean it up. And then I'm taking this Too Faced Peel Off Liner and I'm just going to be adding glitter. I actually found this at TJ Maxx for like um, $5 I believe. And also I am taking that glitter a little bit into the pink just to blend the colors together. And then I'm going to be taking this craft glitter. I'm actually going to be taking the pink hearts, obviously, and I'm going to be applying that basically in the same place that we put the pink. I'm just using eyelash glue to adhere it. Um, this obviously isn't eye safe, so do it at your own will. I know MAC Cosmetics came out with like just pink little hearts like these, but I couldn't justify spending $22 on it, so... This was a little bit difficult to do. I realized once I actually put the hearts like on the tip of my nail and then I try to stick it on that way, it worked a lot better. And I have no like pattern. I'm just kind of sticking them wherever I feel they look the best. And again, taking just whatever pink we have and running that below my lash line. And I obviously already put on lashes. I'm using the Ardell Wispies. And I did take this e.l.f. glitter and apply it all over my eyes just to add a little bit more of like a glitter effect. And I did take the same shade that we used all over a lid and I put it below the brow bone and in the inner corner of the eyes. And now I'm going in with my NYX Liquid Lip Suede. Um, I forgot what color this is. I'll go ahead and I'll make sure I put it on the screen. But I always, this is like literally my go-to color for whenever I wear like crazy colors in the eyes. Because I think it just really tones down the look and it doesn't make it look like super overboard.
And that's it for this look. I really hope you guys liked it. Honestly, I'm really shocked with how it turned out. I don't like pinks on me. I've said that before on my channel, but it's just really out of my comfort zone. But I really do think this is super wearable, especially if you wear it with the right things. I think it will look really pretty if you actually do want to wear it on Valentine's Day. Me personally, I just did it for Instagram pics, but I don't know, who knows? Maybe I will wear this on Valentine's Day. Since I'm not normally doing a bunch of tutorials on my channel, def definitely be following my Instagram. I'll leave my username down below. It's at Shelby. MUA. Go ahead and follow me on there because that's where I post all of my makeup looks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and everything before you leave. I love you guys and I'll see you next video. Bye!